Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? This your boy Reggie J. Sneaks coming at you guys today with a new <laughs> video. As you guys, as you guys see, I'm gonna type down below what today's video is gonna be about. I'm gonna let you guys know all the sneaker releases of December 2020 coming from Jordan Brand. If you guys are ready for this video, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and stop what you guys are doing. Drop a like right now in this video before we get it started, as well as if you guys are coming here because of the title down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as don't forget to, to have the notification bell set to on and make sure you have it set to all so you guys know when I drop a new video and when I don't drop it. But however, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. I told you guys I want to go ahead and bring this series back to the channel and I want to go ahead and keep my word. So with all that being said, in the meantime, between time, you guys are going to get straight into today's video. All right, so now since we got the intro out of the way, we got 11 releases that we need to go ahead and get out here to you guys that will be dropping in December 2020. That's coming from Jordan Brand. Now, we will have some that's going to be full family size run as well as going to be just men releases. Then we're going to have some that's only going to release overseas and won't really come over to the United States. But I do have a couple crowd of people on my YouTube channel that do watch overseas. So, hey, maybe you guys would be so lucky to go ahead and pick up some of these releases. That leads me to my first release of December, which are coming out in uh, the Philippines only. And you guys will see it up here. These are all over green retro four, which are really, really dope. They are numbered as well as we don't really have a price point on, but you guys can see from all these pictures, the quality on this shoe is crazy. You guys have look like wax laces as well as a leather uh, sock lining. You guys have that quilted insoles all over black and green colorway all over the shoe mixed in with the little white hits on the mid. So I like these shoes. I wish they would have been a big rider release, but you guys already know a lot of people will probably would ate these up. So I'm kind of glad they did just number them for just a certain amount of people to pick up. Do have the Jordan Nike brand, I mean the Jordan brand on the back of the shoe. You guys would not have a Nike Air on this uh, shoe. On um, this shoe to me, like I said, it's still really dope. It's only limited to 150 pairs on this shoe. And as you guys see in the picture, you guys, uh, this is the number 23 out of the 150. But yeah, you guys, I don't wanna spend too much time on this first release, but just letting you guys know, this is releasing out there in the Philippines. So shout out to all the Philippine uh, sneakerheads out there that will be out there trying to get these shoes. All right, so now moving right on to the second release that we're gonna be getting into, which is gonna be the Air Jordan 8 Burgundy. Now this release is gonna be set for women only, but my man's out there that can wear a size 10 and a half, you guys still should be in luck, just like me. I am a man's size 10. And I think the women's uh, is going up to a size 12, which means that converts to a 10 and a half. So if you guys were a 10 and a half, you guys still pick these up. If not, then ladies, you guys got this one in the bag. Now this colorway on this shoe is dope to me just for the simple fact that it does remind me of the Buzz Bunny uh, Ace that came out back then. Um, it's pretty much the same exact shoe, just everything that's burgundy on this shoe is pretty much red on the Buzz Bunny pair. I like the burgundy pair. Like I said, if there's nothing else that I really need to go ahead and pick up, I wouldn't mind picking these ones up, but I probably will go ahead and be passing on a lot of shoes for the rest of this month and probably start, start back picking up shoes and bringing the reviews and all that stuff back to the channel in 2021. That's going to be the Air Jordan 8 Burgundy once again. This one is set to release on the 4th, 4th of December. The retail on it is 190. The size run is going to start off from three and a half all the way up to a 12. And women, now we're going ahead and move right along until December the 5th. Now December the 5th, we have two releases so far coming out on December the 5th from Jordan Brand. Now the first one is another one that's going to be overseas. Not saying that you guys can't hit on some of your overseas uh, sites. If you guys wanna go ahead and do that, you guys can go ahead and give that a try as well. But when I say that, that is gonna be the Air Jordan 4 once again, it's gonna be the Deep Ocean pair. Shoe is coming out on the 5th, it's retail for 190. This shoe has a lot going on up on the uppers. You guys have a lot of different blues on there as well as white. You guys have different hits of the red on there. They do remind me of the uh, Air Jordan 12 uh, Japans. If you guys remember those, I have that review on my channel and that's kind of remind me of all that like different textures on different shoes and have a lot of stuff going on on an actual shoe. Now the shoe itself, it does look dope. You do have that white midsole mixed in with the uh, sail gray and you still have that blue on there as well as you do get different pairs of laces on there and they will be releasing in only Asia and Europe. So make sure you guys uh, go ahead, check out that shoe if you guys wanna pick that one up. Now, if you guys don't like the Retro 4, you guys can go ahead and jump to the next release that comes out in December 5th, which will be the Air Jordan 9 University Blue. I already uh, did a view early look on that shoe on my channel. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will pop up a tab up here. You guys go ahead and go check it out. 
That shoe is set to come out December 5th, and that one will be coming out in a full family size run, so you guys will have it in men's, GS size, toddlers, as well as uh, infants. So you guys will have all the whole size run for everybody. If you guys want to get your whole family right, you guys can go ahead and do that for the whole Christmas time. That's going to be the two releases so far coming from the Jordan brand and December 5th. Like I said, once again, you guys have that University Blue dropping on the 5th, and that one's going to be retailing for 190 for the men's side, GS size, which is gonna be the grade school size, is gonna retail for 140. And then you guys are gonna have the little kid size, it's gonna re retail for 80. And then you guys already know you guys have the toddler and infant size that retail for 60. So I'm moving right along to the next release that's coming out in December is gonna be another limited release. I'm gonna think this one's gonna be sold out before we even get our hands on it. And it's gonna be the Air Jordan 1 High J Balvin collab. And this J Balvin collab is really, really like uh, spicy. I would say, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of colors and everything going on. But if you guys think of Hispanic culture and all that, they're really vibrant and a lot of colors and everything like that. So this shoe really pinpoints that uh, flavor of Latin culture. So I really like this shoe. If I could get this shoe for retail, I would go ahead and try. But I know this one will be really, really hard to get. And like I said, this one will be coming out in the US, Asia, and in Europe all on December 8th for retail of 190 you guys do get a special box uh, a lot of other things that do come with the shoe velcro strips that you can change the jordan logo in the back as well as other things on the shoe i want to let you guys know that those shoes will be dropping once again on december 8th 2020 for a retail of 190 so this shoe like i said is really dope but i'm gonna end up passing on it because i know it's gonna be really hard to get if you guys hit on these let me know on my social media which is reggie j things i have all that stuff on the bottom of the screen i would love to see if you guys hit on these shoes now moving away from the j Bowen retro ones and moving on to the middle of the summer and on december 11th we we're really getting a new silhouette coming from jordan brand on the 35 uh, model this is going to be the sisterhood colorway this is a pretty much the gum bottom sole white and blue uh retro 35 this uh retro 35 i feel like has been selling pretty good I feel like a lot of colorways when they drop a lot of people gobble them up really really uh quick i think the 35 has been really good for jordan brands more on the basketball standpoint you guys let me know if you guys have picked up a pair of the 35s if you guys are watching my last previous videos i did pick up a pair a couple of nike vlogs back for a very very good price if you guys haven't seen that video you probably need to go ahead and check it out but yeah you guys this one is a women's release and it will drop on december 11th uh for the retail price of 180. if you guys like those shoes let me know down in the comments down below you guys do have a little hit of the nike air on this shoe as well on the back tab as you guys probably can see let's go ahead and move right along to the next release which is going to be the banger of the year the most sought out i feel like uh, everybody's gonna be trying to go out there and get if they haven't already got it already a couple restocks on this shoe before i even dropped it already so if you guys already have your early pairs let me know down in the comments down below on this shoe you guys probably know what i'm talking about which is going to be the air jordan 11 jubilees or you guys can call it the 25th anniversary jordan that they were originally calling and now they changed it to this uh name this shoe is set to release on december 12th 2020 and the retail on it is going to be 220 as well and this shoe will be dropping and full size run that means men's kid size as well as toddlers and infants they will release it in the u.s and in europe you guys probably will be seeing these shoes everywhere everybody's probably gonna be really soft to get these shoes it is really clean cut if you guys don't have like space gems or something else or so your space gems are getting a little you know on the yellow side kind of like mine is i'm probably gonna end up picking up a pair of these if i can just for some fact though they'll pretty much be taking the place of my space gems and i could just put my space gems on ice to just go ahead and keep them in the box in the closet and i won't have to worry about picking those out i could just go ahead and wear these I have an all over black upper you guys have the white mid sole with the milky out uh so have the 25th anniversary metal jordan logo on the rear then you guys gonna have the jordan on each tab of the laces if you guys have the 72 intense or space gems fresh in the box i say you guys really don't need to get this shoe and to give you guys all the price points on these shoes you guys have the men's size going for 220 you guys gonna have the women or gs size going for 180 then you guys are gonna have the preschool size going for 95 bucks. And then you guys are gonna have the uh, infant and toddler going for $75. So make sure you guys go out there and get those shoes if you guys want them because they probably will be a lot of those out there, but don't sleep if you guys want them because they probably most likely will sell out that first day. So all right, moving right along to the middle of the month, which is gonna be the next Jordan release is gonna come out on December the 19th, right after the 11th drop the week before, you guys will be getting a grade school with infant and toddler size exclusive release just for them on this Air Jordan 13. This one is gonna pretty much be an all over black and gold 13. You guys will have the speckles of gold on the back of the shoe 
as well as you guys will have little gold speckles on the outer sole of the shoe. This shoe to me is pretty, pretty basic. I would probably pass on it, won't really need it now. But however, if you guys are not feeling the black 13s for your, if you're in the grade school size area, you guys probably will have another opportunity on getting a different 13 that will drop that same day. And that's gonna be the Air Jordan 13 Hyper Royals. The Hyper Royals is pretty much all over black and blue 13. And it looks just like the breads, but pretty much swamped with the blue instead of it being red. You guys will have an all over suede backing of the shoe in blue, but in the front of the shoe, you guys will have an all leather uppers and you guys will have the black pies and the black outer sole on this shoe. I did do a video on this shoe as well. If you guys wanna check it out, you guys can go up there and check out that tab. You guys already know. Sometimes I do do first looks and early looks on certain shoes, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel with the notification bell set to on so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. Now this shoe do drop on the December 19th as well as the other 13s, the black and gold 13s. They will be releasing in four family sizes. So you guys, guys don't like those black and gold 13s. You guys still can pick up these blue and black Hyper Royal 13s. All right, you guys. So now we're getting down to the last releases coming from Jordan brand in December 2020, which is going to be the Air Jordan 12 reverse flu games. Reverse flu games is going to be dropping on December, December 26th, the day after Christmas. And this shoe will be coming out in full family size run. This shoe is going to be an all over red suede retro 12 with a little bit of hits of black in there. If you guys want more in depth on this shoe, I did do a video on this shoe as well. I will leave a tab up here so you guys go ahead and check it out. This shoe is retailing for 190 and it sure goes down from there. Like on the previous other shoes that retail at 190, you guys should have the same price point on this shoe as the other ones. This shoe to me is dope. But I'm not too sure how I feel about that. That red suede can be a little deceiving in pictures. It could be actually more brighter or it could be a little bit dark because of the light and the actual picture. But the suede on the shoe and all over looks really, really good. Looks like it will go from dark to bright when you swipe. You guys let me know if you guys are picking these shoes up when they do the drop. It should drop in the US as well as Asia and Europe. Now getting into the actual last shoe coming from Jordan Brand. This shoe is going to be more on the high end side of Jordan Brand releases on the retail market. The technology behind the shoe itself is iconic. And if I can get my hands on a pair, I probably will be trying to. And that's going to be the Air Jordan 11 Adapt. As you guys see, this is pretty much just like the new technology come from Nike. They're giving out the shoe that will lace up their self as well as more other things. And as you guys can see, the shoe does charge up. It does everything else that the Nike Adapt BB does, but it's going to be on the Air Jordan 11 silhouette. You guys got to let me know what you guys think of them putting the new technology on the Air Jordan 11 Retro. This actually doesn't look, don't look too bad because the 11 already has a kind of a chunky sole. So them adding that whole battery pack in there and all that stuff in there actually doesn't really too take too much away from the 11. But I would like to kind of see it even in more different colorways or to see it on different shoes. I wouldn't mind it myself. But these shoes are retailing for $500 and that is a big high price point. But you guys got to think that is a 11 and the new technology come from Nike and Jordan. So you guys already should know that the price point on this joint is going to be a little bit higher because the retail on the BBs is already at 350. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this information on all these shoes. Let me know which ones are you guys more sorry to go get this year. If you guys are picking up any shoes, like I said, for me, if I do decide to pick up anything from this month, it probably will most likely be those 13s, Hyper Royal 13s and the 11s in the collection. So you guys gotta let me know which shoe you guys will be picking up this month from December or if you guys are gonna be just saving your money. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video out to you guys because I know a lot of these releases at the beginning of the video have already dropped today when this video dropped. So let me know what you guys think of the video down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on my social media which is Reggie J Sneaks. I have all that stuff on the bottom of the screen as well as in the description box below. Also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell set to on. And let me know what you guys think of the video down in the comments down below once again. But with all that being said, you guys, Reggie J Sneaks going to be a fire this joint. I feel like I've been talking a lot. i see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. Tonight is